Hi everyone, time for this week's book haul. So I've got a nice little haul, which is great. I found some goodies. So, um, yeah, I only got about two hours sleep last night. Just one of those nights where I could not sleep. So I might be a bit slow. <laughs> What's new, they all say. I'm starting to feel quite slow. So and then I had to get up, go to the bookstore and work and then off for an eye test in the afternoon. And apparently I can see. So that's good. I can hear as well. The um, optometrists now do hearing tests, which I thought was quite weird. <laughs> but yeah. So this fell out of a book. It is a, a tactless greeting card. When you have to work up to caring. <laughs> I like that. I don't get it though. Maybe I'll have to read it a few times and I might. I uh, wanted to get you a funny birthday card, but let's face it, funny was two years ago. Yeah, if you get it, please explain. Anyway, and then there was this card thing. I just love the picture, the oriental style of it. So I'll probably cover over the message or something. I'll leave it as is. It's nothing too personal. And this book, I purely got this for the cover. It's a bit ruined down the bottom. Well, not ruined. It's just a different colour a bit. Yeah, sort of faded a bit. But I, for some reason, I really like that cover. It is quite narrow, so I could add a false spine. But, you know, I don't think all journals have to be these huge fat things with heaps of embellishments. Sometimes it's nice just to have a thin writing journal with your vintage pages in. So I probably look at doing something like that with this. I did see an owl in here. So there's some fish. This is probably a couple of pictures I might use too. There it was. Mm, beautiful picture. So Little Grey Rabbit's Christmas. I haven't had a look in this one. I just saw that and thought, yep. Bring that. I stuck these in there. They come out of, what did they come out of? Shady Garden book, which I don't think I got wanted the book. So, because I'm trying, I've got heaps of gardening books. I've really got to cut down unless they're really good ones. But I thought this has to have cute pictures. Nineteen fifty-five, so that's quite old. And very cute pictures. I, that could, you know, you could do either a Christmas journal or a bunny rabbit one. Nice sized pictures. So I hope you are all well. Coming up to the weekend, so hopefully we can all get some crafting done. Uh, Moses, Prince and Shepherd, a Ladybird book. These have like really beautiful pictures, I find. So I can't help grabbing them just for the pictures. And gifted in 62. So it must be about that old. But yeah, I really love the coloured pictures in these Ladybird books. This, I love this. I looked at it and I thought, nah, don't want it. It just looks like some novel. But then I read it and it's Beaton's Book of Household Management. And even then I thought, well, you know, it's probably just writing. But I did a quick flick and it has little illustrations. Pigeon. So it's like about cooking. Toad in the hole. But yeah, I love the little illustrations that are in there. Really cool for a household journal of some sort. Kitchen journal. Oh, I don't know how old it is. I am. I'm interested. You might not be, but I am. It says 1861 down there. I am sure that this book is not that old. London. 1861. Here we go. I was going to say 1977 for this edition. <laughs> there is no way. 
the concise Oxford Dictionary of Quotations. Now, there were dictionaries. There were quite a lot of dictionaries. Um, French ones and Italian ones and all sorts. Um, but I have so many, as you know. I was trying really hard not to grab any. And then this come up. And because it's actually quotations rather than just words, that's the index, I thought it might be cool to read the quotes and pull out any that I really like and make some embellishments with them. Whether it will ever happen, I don't know, but that's the plan. So, and that is, what is that one, that? is 75. Now this Ruby, I don't know if I say this right, Rubaiyat of Omar Kayam of Nashapur, something like that. Um, I have a copy or two of this very old book, probably like the first edition or near there or whatever. And I know my mum wanted to read it, but it's quite you know, hard to read. It's all in this sort of old way of speaking and that sort of thing. So I found this one. I think it's the same one. So, but it doesn't have as many pages. I'm not sure anyway. But I'll see if my mother would like to read this one. It might might be easier. Which, But I don't know. But the pictures are beautiful too and the colours. I did get a dictionary. Uh, English Chinese Dictionary of Finance. Don't have one of them already. <laughs> Partial payment. Lease rental. So it's got all that sort of stuff in English and Chinese. The Royal House of Stuart, 58. So lots of vintage pictures. Glossy, but still lovely. They might be good with some of your um, napkin or um, pattern paper over the top. And some gesso, just to take the gloss away a bit. Swap Tigers. Oh, that's a DVD. Actually, I bought this home just to trash the DVD because I don't like them putting it in the recycling bin at work. Because I'm fussy like that. But it does have, I think I've got another one of these. It does have some cool pictures. So. Now, these two books were fascinating. First time, the Blue Book of Dramatic Poetry. And... The Violet Book of Dramatic Poetry. So, of course, when I saw the Violet Book, <laughs> I was like, ooh, purples, and I had to get it. And it's all, all the pictures and that are in your violet colour. Now, it must be pretty old. And Book of Suggestions. It's 1937 for something there, but let's have a look. 1955 for this one. But it's just got the violet, hints of violet. That's not violet. I'll have to read the poetry too and see if I want to put any of that in some journals. But I did like the colours in it. And the cover. So I've got the purple one and the blue one. They actually look like um, someone's kids come along and like, coloured them in, but I don't. Yeah, they haven't. So apparently there's pink, white, green, red, blue, yellow, violet and orange ones. That's just a page I took out of a book that I didn't want to take. Theme and variations and anthology of poetry. Nineteen Just thought some of these might be interesting to read and see if I want to keep. I think I opened the page to one that I liked. So, oh, mushrooms! There you go. 
for the mushroom journal that sort of thing oh there's the rubyette of omar kayam a poem from there in this book Oh, I tried ditching these, but they make it hard. It's a Eight Cousins by um, Louisa May Alcott. I've got a few of these sort of books, and it's like, well, I don't really like them or anything. But then you open them up, and they're coloured. And this is sort of orange, and I've got ideas for some orange stuff coming up very soon. Well, very soon for me is in a couple of months. <laughs> Everything's very slow these days. Now this was in the bottom of one of the bins, I grabbed it out and I got one my workmate that was out there with me, I got him to run it in to ask my other workmate because she collects Alice um, in Wonderland. Usually I nab them and that but then I found out she collects them so I always take them in. I'd found her a tiny little mini one too so I think she kept that one or bought that one because that was in good condition but this one was out in the bin so we asked her but no she said no it wasn't in the condition that she wanted or anything but I wouldn't waste that picture I thought that was awesome and that so and there's some little pictures in there and I reckon it'd be really cool to go through and read the sentences and there might be ones that I want to add to a journal as well very cool pictures so that was a nice find to add to my now collection of Alice in Wonderland. It was this Outer Metropolitan Planning Area Development Plan Draft. How exciting, but I thought it would probably be typed. It's got some maps and I quite like the type face for um, collaging or whatever. Can always use the paper um, with the gel plate if I don't do other stuff with it. It's got a lot of those map pages too, so there's a good bit of paper that I can use. There was this needle craft book. I struggle letting any craft books go out, but I must go through all the ones I've got. I think there's probably a few craft books where I won't want to. Um, keep every bit of it and they might only have like one or two patterns that I like and so I can take them out make a journal of the patterns that I might actually use one day and use the pages in other pages in journals like this this is a beautiful folded up as a page but yeah I can also learn some skills that'll be really cool to cut out and my little patterns so yeah, that's got heaps of stuff I can use in it. Oh, what's that doing in there? Pattern at the back. So this has to be 70s, surely 70s, 80s. Climbing Plants in Australia. I think that's the only gardening book I grabbed. And this came out of a different book. Something about Jane Austen. That's cool. In the time of Jane Austen. So that'll be kept for a Jane Austen journal that I probably won't make one day. Jane Austen in Bath. Bo Nash in Bath. Interesting. So, oh, this is the Climbing Plants book. Uh, 1988. Oh, yeah, the illustrations. Might have to try and watercolour those, I think. Because they are cool. That's a few pages of them. Leaves. nice pictures but yeah and the pages are not glossy at all so I can um, paint over them if I like 
I like these written ones. I had to use them for envelopes or something, but I could use them on the gel plate and they'd pick up paint nice and easy. This complete Reader's Digest complete guide to sewing. I think I have probably three, if not four of these now. I find it hard to say no. These are start pages out of another book which I didn't grab. I thought they were cool. Kitchen journal. See, so yeah, I love these though. Again, they've got the little sewing pattern bits that you could cut out, fussy cut and make ephemera for. Going to have to do some packs of pages of these in the future. If anyone wants them for crafting, crafty journals that they're making. Encyclopedia of Home Sewing. I should read one of these one day so I can learn how to sew. Uh, 1979. <laughs> so retro. I like the coloured paper on the patterns. It's a nice pattern. You can almost um, trace over them, create a pattern that you can use to make some embellishments with. Oh, these things. I oh, know, it must be from watching all the. Um, People in America with their golden hands, I'm pretty sure that's where most of them originate from because I'm getting such a collection of silly golden hand sets. I haven't seen, I don't think I've got one of these though. A complete guide to traditional and modern home crafts. I do have like a whole set of golden hands crafting books, but I don't think they're these ones. Wow, that is really gross. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, some might like it, not me. But it'd be cool in a retro journal. You always get good ideas too, looking at through books. Ah, oh, craft, better homes and gardens, craft collection. A newer one. Oh, this is, looks like it might have some nice pictures. 91. And some of these are lovely. The Uffizi, Uffizi, A Guide to the Gallery. Uh, so that was in there. That's a postcard. So that's beautiful. 156 colour plates and one map. I wonder if that's the map. <laughs> that's the map that's listed, not listed on here. It's a bit of a letdown. Uh, 1980. Oh, I see it's a map of the gallery. Look at that though, isn't that so sweet? Sort of, sort of sweet. Yeah, it's sort of sweet. I was just about to say, if there are any rude pics, I apologize, but it is art. And if there are ever any rude pictures, you can be sure I will turn to them by accident. It's just the way it goes. Nostalgia Australia, your memory album of the 1920s and 1930s, over 300 photographs. 
and it is 75. This is interesting. I don't know if you'd call this colour sepia, but it's interesting. Brown. But it looks like there's some interesting bits and pieces. I cannot seem to get through a video these days without something running out of memory. This time it was my memory card. So I had to take it over to the computer to delete some files off of it. And for some reason I can't delete the files off of it. So then I had to find another memory card. Always fun, this technology. So we were looking at this book. These weird brown coloured pictures. But lots and lots of good ones. And then there was this Quinshi Shi Huang Terracotta Warriors and Horses. Something a bit different. Um, no date. News. Oh, 1983 by the looks. I just thought some of these. I don't know which ones, but some of them looked interesting. Oh, that, that'd be right. I could glue book with that in my dreams. It was probably like one of the first books I came across, so I thought, well, just in case I don't find anything better. I like that picture. A couple of things in there, geez. There was this huge, heavy Australia through time. Not that I need another big book like this, but if, if you're not using it to cut things out of, you use it to press flowers. Um, 2003 edition. I don't know why I'm looking up the date there. So heaps and heaps of stuff. You get the adverts. It's a Woman's Weekly one there. I love that sort of thing because the size is really cool to make uh, little bits of ephemera. There's lots of Women's Weeklies. One on the left there. Yep. Are they every page? That one is Marmite. Lots of Women's Weekly ones. Dunlop. So these are just so cool. So I'll have fun going through that one day, cutting them all out and might back them onto some card or something. And then I did pay for a couple which was very naughty because I'm trying to save at the moment but there was this Australian Memories which my co-worker found thought I would like. Again it's yeah I was gonna say it's all the brown pictures but no look we've got some beautiful boho-ish ones. So they're lovely. So nice vintage pictures. I love these ones, the fashion magazines. Beatrix Potter, artist, storyteller and country woman. So I think it's a story about Beatrix Potter. So I thought that was interesting. Beautiful pictures. It's 19, new edition 1996. But I have, I think, seen someone has made a Beatrix Potter journal using the pictures and that out of this book. So one about the lady herself rather than the rabbits and other things, animals. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll probably be face down on the couch afterwards sneeze, snoozing. Oh, look at those mushrooms. They're beautiful. Some lovely illustrations. 
And the last find, someone bought in some boxes of books and my co-worker was going through and pulling out the last few and I spied something right at the bottom of the tub and I grabbed it before she had a chance to even see it. Another copy of the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. However, the ones I've been grabbing lately are the ones that are... The ones that you're not meant to use at all, really. No part of this publication may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means, electronic, mechanical, photocopying, recording, or otherwise. Anyway, whatever that means. I know that you get the sort of two versions of it, and one has certain copyright specifications and the other one has stricter ones or whatever and i think this is the more strict one but that's all right because you can still use it at home for your own personal stuff so might do that if not i think well i own this book so if i want to cut up a page and put it in a journal i will so and that's probably what i will do so sue me that's what i think i think um some copyright laws are too. I mean, the lay, lay person can't understand this stuff. They need to make it more clear and everyone should have similar laws to make it clear for us. But that's just me. Alrighty, so that is it for the week. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Get some crafting done. I intend to. And be good. See you later.